Let the games begin! Well, I just, I, it's such a confusing menu. And I, do you find when you're more, when you're, what, when you're hungriest, it's, it's impossible, impossible to. Yeah. I can't think straight, so yeah. I just want anything, anything, just to, yeah, cob salad. Also, there's an element of panic, because if you make the wrong choice and you're really hungry, you'll be really upset. I know. Yeah, well, yeah. Deeply, I mean, I'm, I'm now panicking over it, but you just have to put it to the back of your head. There are worse things. Right. It can't, can't go that wrong. You can't go that wrong with a cob salad. No. I'm getting worried about it. I mean, I wouldn't not worry, <laughs> but I reckon get ready to reorder, because you're on the poster, so... Yeah. It's kind of a big deal, aren't you? Yeah, well, I didn't want to go for the caviar and lobster. I thought that would be taking the piss a bit. Be that guy. I, ne it. I nearly did. Do it. I didn't want to see yes, Matt's face go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's changed. <laughs> so sorry. First of all, yeah. congratulations on the film and on the abs. This is your name. My name is Milo. Slaves that live and their freedom. Yes. What are you more proud of, or both? Uh. Well, I don't know. I. I mean. I'm proud of both, I'd say. I think I, I, it was a body transformation that I wanted to do. Um, I, I think I did actually look at pictures of, you know, at st stone pictures of gladiators, you know, statues of gladiators. They're always very muscular, they're very ripped, and that's how we... And they were incredibly well-fed individuals. They were, they were prized animals, really. To, they, were, they were forced to fight and they needed to be strong, so I kind of wanted to step into that role and get very, very fit, which I did, and it was a lot of work. The method abs we're talking about here. It's method abs, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. And you had a lot to do in this film. Whatever is happening here, we find freedom, my friend. We have to get to the harbour. We will go together. What's yeah. your biggest challenge? Because, you know, you're fighting, you've got special effects. It was a full-on job, this one, because any any scene that you're not, you see me that I'm not in, which is not that many, in those days I was in the stunt room learning fights. So there was, there were over the four-month period, as an actor you hope that you maybe get a few days off here, you know, a few days off there, just to kind of downtime to get your head straight. We didn't have that in this film because it was so action heavy that any time I wasn't on screen I was rehearsing fights and quite often if I was on screen I'd be coming off and rehearsing fights. So it was, it was a lot. It was a, that was the biggest challenge. Physically it was a very demanding film. Did your work over in Castle Black with those guys not help mm. you out to be the action guy in this one? I think it was why I was chosen for this film. You know, I, I, I stepped into a quite a physical, heroic-esque role in... Um, in Thrones, and Paul Anderson saw saw me in that, and thought that I might be good as his kind of quite silent, brooding character in this. So the the I think one did help the other, of course, uh, but the, this was far more physically demanding than Thrones has ever been. And you know, in Thrones we film over six months. I probably because of the expansiveness of the story, I probably only filmed two months of those six months. I got a lot of time off actually. In this, it was four months solid without a break. Yeah, well, it, it kind of is, like, because most people's jobs are nine till five, five days a week. This was nine till nine, six days a week, so it was, it was a lot. Yeah. But your character's also a bit of a romantic, isn't he? Yes, he is. He, well, he falls in love. He, he's got that kind of... He's not a modern man in any way, shape or form. He's very... Um, he's not connected to his emotions, really, at the start of the film. He just knows how to kill and fight. And his whole family been murdered, and he's, that's very simple. That's the kind of plane that he lives on. And then what ignites in him, what sort of sparks a kind of human side to him is meeting Cassia, the, his love interest. That slave looks at you as if he's in a dream, Cassia. Um, again, I think that's that's very simple for him. See girl, get girl. You know, it's the, he's that type of bloke. He's very simple. Very it's simple a bit of a lad, isn't he? It's a bit of a lad, yeah. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done in real life? <sighs> oh, God, that's hard. So many. 
person. <laughs> I don't know. I flew. I flew. Um, I flew halfway across the world for a girl once oh, to try and get her back. Did it work? It did actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Expensive, but yeah. <laughs> Good value. Good value. Yeah. <laughs>